Hi, Colette here, answering another question. Why does it work so fast? How can we clear something so fast using math and for it to last? And this is a neuroscience question. So MAP is based, is based on research, evidence-based research that is in neuroscience uh, explaining how memories are created, especially emotional memories, long-term emotional memories are created in the brain. So as you know, there are synapses in the brain of neurons, at the end there are synapses and they lock into each other when there is a memory that is created. It's called consolidation of memories, okay? And when a memory creates this pathway, it has been known actually for a hundred years, it was believed that this neural pathway was permanent. That's why it was called long-term memory. It was supposed to be permanent and never change. All the therapist could do would to create parallel pathways that would be competitive to the basic one and therefore less strong and less stable and that could lead to relapse. Now in 2000, Karen Nader, a neuroscientist, discovered that that was not the case. There was a possibility to leverage something called the reconsolidation process. That means that there are situations where the brain literally reassess the memory. And it's the error center of the brain that because there is this contradictory experience that is so shocking for the brain, it's ready to open the synapses again. So when it opens the synapses, now there is an opportunity to rewire with a new memory. So this is called the window of reconsolidation. And MAP, we have found how to open the synapses and rewire the brain with a new learning. And that's why now we have a new memory and the other one is gone. It's the same history if you want, but the emotional memory has been disconnected and reconnected with peace and harmony and a, a feeling of safety. And now that creation is long lasting. So I hope that explained it well. Uh, there is more. There is a white board video that explains it a little more. And um, there is more on the science of it, the three steps of reconsolidation, all of that. So if you're interested, you will be able to find more in the website. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next video answering another Q&A. Bye for now.